Hi everyone and welcome to today's reading on how is the universe correcting the wrongs against you. So this is sort of where you sort of, you know, sit back and kick your feet up and let the universe do the work for you. So for group one, we have this clear cloudy looking crystal with Merkaba. For group two, we have bloodstone and the throat chakra. Group three, angelite and magic. And for group four, this amethyst looking stone, which I don't know what it is. I don't remember what it is. Um, if someone does know what it is, please leave it in the comments. Kind of looks like an amethyst, but not really. And coherence. So those are the four groups for you to select from. Please take a moment to select your pile using your intuition. And I will give you a couple moments. Okay, group one, um, here's your reading on how the universe is correcting the wrongs against you. Okay, so um, we, one second. Okay, I just had to pause that for a second because there's some conflict going on in the background. Um, and I think it ties into this reading, right, um, with this five of swords of conflict. Um, and I think that you know, that's what we're talking about, correcting the wrongs against you. So we're talking about conflicts. Um, and so this is this is a promise, right? When I see compromise here, this is the promise that's sort of coming to correct these sort of wrongs um, that have happened against you and the conflict that's taken place. So what I'm getting with this reading is because I'm very drawn in to this uh, the eyes of this tiger over here and him just staring like fiercely at something. And I know that cats have really um, like night vision. They have night vision. They're able to see in the dark. And I'm also being drawn to this octopus in the eye, the third eye right here. Um, so what I'm getting is that you're going to be able to see things um, that other people don't see. Um, and so this is like, this is like a spiritual upgrade um, in a way, right? So here we have Merkaba, that was the card that you selected. The frequency of Merkaba supports our ability to use our own consciousness to traverse into other layers of reality and dimensions. It activates our access to our Akashic inheritance as well, merging the totality of our experiences into our present to serve our highest purpose. So with that I'm getting, it's like, it's like you're able to tap into something else that, and you know, here it's saying the Akashic records. So maybe in, it's like past lives. Um, past experiences, past skills that you've had, um, and bring that into the real in, into the current moment to be able to resolve these issues and to be able to see things from a different perspective or a different light. It's like a spiritual light, but it's really like your spirit body, you know, your akashic um, ethereal body that is informing you of what's there. So it's like you're able to see, and when I say in the dark, like this cat. It's like seeing things that aren't, you know, naked to the visible eye. And that's going to support you um, a lot, right? Um, with this card here, it's kind of like, this is kind of what I'm referring to. You see this old, this is scarcity. Um, I don't know how to say that word. Sakuyans? I don't know. Um, I, I know that um, you see how there's this old lady and she's standing behind um this this younger person and so i'm almost feeling that with this akashic record thing that i'm i'm talking about here is that it's like the wisdom of the past you know backing you up so it's like having the support of multiple experiences multiple lifetimes multiple um people you know um and and being able to tap into that and in order to create something new in your in your current rea reality and a way for you to move forward and past it. Um, the Eight of Cups is about um, moving on. It says change, shift, and change again. And so you're able to instinctually um, know what it is that you're seeing and what to do about it, right? And And that's what the flow is that we're talking about over here with Embrace the Flow of Life and Allowing.
allowing. Radical acceptance says yes to reality in any given moment. So what's needed can come next. So it's like this, this vision, this extra vision, this being able to tap in into this other, um, this other realm to draw in information and answers to solutions um, or answers and solutions to the conflict that's around you and not just the conflict around you here we have the ten of swords and ruin and what i'm getting with the scarcity card is like like putting an end to and uh, when i'm seeing scarcity here i'm i'm seeing it as um, not knowing what to do because it's like when we're faced with issues or, or problems or obstacles that we're not familiar with um, and I'm getting this with the valor card because the valor is really about like having the courage to go to battle um, even though you don't know what the outcome is you know and so when things it's like it's like what I'm trying to say is kind of like a, an ending to a scarcity mindset of not knowing what to do um, of, so that you don't sort of freeze up and, 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 you know, get into this limited mindset of like, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to change this. I don't know how to move forward. Um, but instead, it's like you have the courage to, to go, to go, to move forward, like um, to move past what it is that you're, um, dealing with in terms of the conflict. Um, and so I'm seeing that as like the scale. So it's like, you know, whatever wrongs that we're talking about here that you're inquiring about that have happened. Um, it's like now you're, you're able to move more easily through the flow of life and to just navigate a lot more smoothly because of, it's almost like a superpower, you know, it's, it's, you know, with this scarcity card, it's, 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 I'm getting like this mythical, um, cause I know this is like Caribbean, uh, folklore, um, of a woman who is a shapeshifter, like by, by day, she is this, um, old woman, but by night she is this, this woman up here in the front who, you know, goes out and sucks the blood of people. And, and it's, it's sort of, um, that type of story. So, um, it's like, so I'm getting this feeling of you're able to sort of shape shift, um, and, and, and adjust according to what the conflict really is and be able to move forward and to face it with courage. And when I say with courage, it's, you know, how, you know, that saying is like, uh, we, courage is in the face of fear. It's not in the absence of it. So you're able to face things as if, um, as if there's no limitations that are imposed on you because you have this access to this whole body of information of the Akashic, your Akashic records. Like you're able to really tap into it, whether you know that you're doing it or not. And I'm getting it with this crystal here. It's like part of it is, is smoky and foggy. And then the other part is clear. And so this vision that I'm talking about, um, the, the ability to see through the clouds, the muddiness, um, and know what needs to be shifted like and that's really coming through as an instinctual thing for you um, Maybe you're not fully aware that that's what's happening and I'm getting the instinct thing with this the starfish who you know move on instincts it's and move through like um, I Want to say their intuition right uh, their instincts their intuition, whatever you want to call it um, but but there's something I'm also getting the water and I, I just got like Lemuria as well where um, I remember hearing something a long time ago when um, I think I was watching a video or something and they were talking about Lemuria and how you know this is an ancient ancient civilization and it could have been um, under the sea right um, you know that's where life existed and that's where life came from and so maybe these were um, just like these lower I don't want to say lower life forms but um, where everything, it's like the human brain didn't evolve to what it is today. So um, a lot of the things were done based on instincts, right? And so that's what I'm getting with this starfish is like, it's just moving on instincts. And if you're moving with your instincts and allowing yourself to move with in your instincts and your intuition, then that is how now you're gonna move more easily through, through life um, and just embrace it, right? Um, because our minds can really get in the way of that sometimes. Um, 
with with what we're seeing um like in our physical reality and that's sort of where the scarcity comes in and so that's how i'm seeing that this balance is taking place um and like how how this is um, how the balance or how justice or how the universe is correcting the wrongs against you. It's, it's, it's doing so by empowering you, um, essentially. Um, and it's kind of creating, it's almost like I'm seeing this duality, right? With this full moon in Gemini and these two women here. Um, I'm just seeing this duality of like your, your physical self and then your etheric self. Um, and that, etheric self that has that akashic information around it is really coming on par with you um with your physical self and allowing you to really move more instinctually um it's almost like a clearing that's 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 happening um where you're able to shape shift into like this mythical sort of i mean i want to say mythical but it's like how you're creating this new reality where you're just more in flow um where you accept things as they are um because you know how to navigate through it you know how to navigate through the blurriness of it um and here again it's like this this duality of like it's half blurry and half clear and i feel like the part of you that is able to see like a cat in the night is this clear vision um, aspect and that's how you're going to be able to move through things more courageously and put an end to um, any sort of limitation that the mind would impose on you you know um, it's all through your third eye your intuition moving instinctually or just that connection to your etheric body and the akashic records um, so that's how i'm seeing that the universe is correcting the wrongs against you it's really making you um it's really like i feel like completing you as like a spirit um and and like bringing that into the physical for you so that you can create um a better experience in moving forward so so yeah so that's your reading group one um hopefully it was helpful for you if you liked it please leave a like uh do comment subscribe to see more videos and i will see you guys soon take care bye okay group to those of you who picked this bloodstone and the throat chakra this is your reading on how the universe is correcting the wrongs against you so um what i'm getting with this reading is that we have saturn in reverse we have the eight of pentacles um so i'm getting that or just i'm, I'm getting a lot like there's there's like different things going on here so for one, I will say that the way that the universe is correcting the wrongs against you is by teaching you what you need to work on. Um, and I feel like for, for your group, it's really about like when things happen against you, um, it's like you start to think okay, what's the lesson in this, right? What, what, what's, what's the message of this? You know, what do I have to work on? You know, and I feel like it's making you, um, and you know, whoever's viewing this video, you could be at different stages of this. And this is what I'm getting with this queen of wands um, across right here. You could be at different stages of this, okay? But you're understanding that there's lessons in every situation and that it's really an indicator for, what you need to work on, um, what you need to master, that all of this is supposed to teach you something, right? And that's what I'm getting with celestial alignment. Um, and um, it's like, as above, so below. And, and so you're trying to come into alignment by, by learning whatever lesson it is that you need to given a certain situation right and why i say that is because we have discernment here um it's like you're able to, um, the frequency of discernment supports our ability to view the world and the people around us from a place of inner balance and detachment yet with compassion and wisdom so it's it's like you're looking at the people who are doing this or whatever wrong there is and seeing like hmm what do I need to get from this? What am I supposed to be doing to get back in alignment? What lesson is there to be learned um, from this situation? Um, and, you know, here we have the throat chakra. It's like now you're able to um, 
you know, and, and maybe for some of you guys, that is the lesson is to express yourself um, in and speak your truth um, and not even to speak your truth, but also speak to yourself in a loving way. I dish out compliments sincerely, sincerely and liberally. Um, and I feel like, and this is in reverse, so I feel like it's to yourself, right? So sort of, and I feel like this process is sort of circular. It's like the lesson comes in, you're able to discern like, hey, what's going on here? You're seeing it from a higher perspective. What do I need to work on? You work on it. Um, and then you're able to like compliment yourself. You're able to pat yourself on the back, right? Because then now you get yourself back in alignment and you're able to move forward. And the reason why I say that um, you guys can be at different stages of this is because this queen of wands is across and with this black cat i'm getting that this is her her shadow self like all the stuff that she's sort of been through and she's able to sit there like proudly um having gone through so many different things and you know having compassion and understanding and all of these things that made her who she is and she still holds her sunflower which to me is like faces like you know flowers grow towards the light right so i i see this as as you like trying to grow towards um the light grow, grow towards like you know that alignment of of um you know and when i say growing towards the light i mean it's like taking situations on positively looking at and when i say positively i mean like as a as self development like um like i i just have an example right now that just popped into my head like i was having an issue with um work and a person in particular um and you know i had to ask myself like hey like what 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 is it that i'm supposed to be doing and one of the things was i had to start verbalizing um, some of my feelings around things, but of course in a way that is um, professional and balanced and and reasonable, but I started doing that and I started to feel a lot better, right? As opposed to just sort of like keeping it in or, or whatever the case, right? And I'm also getting, because here we have nature spirits and we have dream journal, um, I'm getting that there are a lot of spirits um, and it's not just the spirits when with dream journal as well and I'm getting it with this is like there's a lot of support um, in this for you whether you are aware of it or not um, that is like either I want to say protecting you nature spirits are, are protectors like um, I'm thinking of the old movie like Fern Gully uh, this is like back in the 90s uh, type of movie where you know there's these fairies that that wanted to protect the forest because these people were coming and you know cutting down all the trees and so I feel like you're being very protected and not just that it's like information's being relayed to you um drew through um the dream state and you can probably also because it's dream journal right you could probably go before you go to bed like write down a question here she has a question are you sleeping you could write down a question of of you know what am i supposed to learn go to sleep and then wake up and then just start journaling and then maybe like the truth right here we have a lot of blue um the truth can be communicated to you and i'm talking about like the deep th truth okay about what lessons you know like um you are there in this situation for you right um, because there's always that question that that can come up or whatever question you may have about what it is that you need to work on to get you into alignment because it's like with this pile i'm getting a strong feeling of um there's things that you're supposed to learn and you know with saturn it can be it can be kind of a harsh lesson right um stuff that it's it's like the tough lessons that build us and and grow us and um, develop us um, into more the character that we're meant to be, you know? Um, so, so yeah, so that's what I'm getting with, with, uh, I kind of lost my train of thought there, but, um, with this questions that you can pose to yourself, um, because it's like, like I keep pausing. I don't know. There's like some pauses and I feel like this is part of it. Okay, now my hand's starting to go. So this is a part of the message is that um, 
take time to pause. Like, I feel like not, I'm not telling you to take time to pause. Maybe some of you, I am, because I said you guys are in different stages of this, um, to pause, to reflect, to meditate, um, on what the, the lesson is here. Um, what, how else you have to restructure, um, your responses, your, um, thinking, um, your beliefs, um, so you can reevaluate what the truth is, right? And when I say what the truth is, I mean what the underlying truth is. Because at the end of the day with this group, it's like, this is, this is, these are lessons to teach you and to grow you. So even if someone is, you know, you know, quote unquote, like wronging you, there's something in it that you're supposed to learn. And it's very important for you guys to take a pause and to, um, and I'm not saying it's very important, but this is how it's being corrected. You guys are going to be given pauses. Um, or maybe it's during those periods of pause, like while you're sleeping, maybe while you're walking in the park, um, where your mind is sort of like in that, um, is it the beta? Like, I, I don't remember, like when, when your brain waves or a certain way, when you're in that meditative state, that sleep state, um, that's where that information is going to come in. That's where that discernment is going to start coming through. And we have 20 right here as well. Um, is going to start coming through to you um, about the things that you may need to say, the things that um, you need to express. Um, yeah, I just had to pause again. So there's something there's something about pausing um, because these are really tough lessons and, and sometimes they're hard to sift through and to figure out. So it's like you're being supported through the dream state, through... Um, you know, uh, I want to say fairies and, and, and these spirits, um, these nature spirits. So maybe even walking through the park, like I just said, um, all of these things, all these times that you take out are, are there to support you in figuring out what you need to work on, what you need to master so that you can get in alignment, um, you know, as above, so below. And so that is what's going to make you I feel like this is this is the stuff that's going to make you successful um, with this Queen of Pentacles. Um, and I, when I say successful, I mean in this earthly realm. Like this is what's going to make you content. This is what's going to make you successful. I'm talking about financially, materially, um, and things like that. Like this is tied into either like your work, your finances, or whatever it else is that you're you're trying to manifest i'm getting a strong feeling of that um but these are lessons because everything's connected right everything's connected all this stuff is connected and so maybe you guys are trying to manifest some of you guys are trying to manifest financially and it's like hey you know this is this is what you have to do you have to go through these lessons you have to start expressing yourself um you have to start you know, making progress and mastering certain things that you may be, I want to say lacking, I don't want to say lacking, but it is lacking things that you need to work on and improve and develop in yourselves so that you can even also have the confidence um, and to feel good about yourself. Like I dish out compliments sincerely and liberally, but it's to yourself. Um, it's ways that you're going to feel better about yourself, more independent, more stable, and again, we have Capricorn, so I'm, I'm getting this, this work feeling to it. Um, and with the Queen of Wands, I feel like she's also very successful and outgoing and, and outspoken. So again, it's tying into this, this throat chakra. And so that's what I'm getting with how the universe is correcting the wrongs against you. Um, it's like this is meant to be this way. It's meant to be difficult. It's meant to be challenging. Um, it's meant to make you pause and reflect like, hey, what do I got to do to get out of this? Um, but it's also setting you up to be successful, um, to make you persevere and to push through um, and to also develop, like, get you in alignment. Because here again, maybe this is part of the the chakras. We have all of these colors here that to me, um, it's it's like the colors of the chakra system as well. And the th maybe it's the th throat chakra that is um, not not functioning as fluidly so that you can get into full alignment for that manifestation to fully come through and it has to do with your coin it has to do with your money um so so yeah so 
this is this is definitely what I'm I'm getting, and it's also giving you thicker skin skin in the face of adversity. And so all of this stuff is like I'm definitely getting this as a manifestation because it's also coming in through fairies, it's coming in through the dream state, it's coming in through um, the spirit realm. It's like everything is is um, I was gonna say coalescing. Everything is like um, what's that word like moving together to support you in this evolution um so that you can also feel more confident um for moving forward right because if if things are happening against you versus happening for you it's a different feeling right like you have to feel good you have to feel like these things that are happening are for you for for you to improve right um for you to be more in alignment so that you can really manifest because it's like as it goes up, it has to come down. I just, I just felt like saying that. Um, and what I mean coming down, it's the manifestation, right? And so, so yeah, so you have to persevere through these, through these um, obstacles, because as you persevere, this is actually correcting you. Um, it's, it's like shifting you. It's like moving you. It's molding you. Um, and it's also allowing the flow through you to allow what you want to manifest to manifest right and so so that's kind of a confirmation for you guys as well if you are manifesting something that this is very much tied to it um yeah so yeah so this is about perseverance it's about lessons it's about alignment it's about um molding you and so, so that's how the universe is correcting the wrongs against you. It's using these wrongs because they're not really wrongs. They're, they're like meant, meant to happen um, because as above, so below, again, like what you've intended for is trying to come in and manifest and you have to sort of like be that person um, in order to, for it to fully manifest. Right. And so, so this is tied into your money. Um, this is tied into your manifestation. And yeah, so that's, it's kind of cool. I, I wasn't expecting this reading. If you liked it, please leave a like, please comment if you wish and subscribe to see more videos. Bye guys. Okay. Group three, those of you guys who picked this angelite and this magic card, this is your reading on how the universe is correcting the wrongs against you. Okay. So, um, this is like a very, you know, very pretty clear message. Um, in the sense of what it's about. So this is to do with sex, okay? Um, it has to do with pleasure and it's it's pretty much sex, right? Here we have the double card and um, these two people having sex down here. We have pleasure in reverse and she's, you know, by her cooch area. We have release and we have bliss. Um, we have the butterfly maiden who is fertility. Um, in the springtime, she's said to go around and um, fertilize and pollinate all the plants in the spring so and also wholeness right we have the number 40 here twice um, so we'll get to that as well all right so how is the universe correcting the wrongs against you so whatever the wrongs were I mean for some of you guys I'm getting a message of what sex was um, taught to you as maybe when you were younger um, if it was something sort of taboo that you're not supposed to, um, you know, have too much enjoyment in, or it just, it just was never celebrated in the way of what it's meant to do for us as humans, um, to make us feel whole. Um, and just, you know, with four is like having a real mature, um, and spiritually mature understanding of what sex, what's, what sex is and what it can do for you. And, and, and that sort of thing. So the universe is correcting the wrongs against you by bringing in the magic of sex and what it does. And what I mean by that is because I'm getting it through this reading with magic and the high priestess and manifestation. It's like you, you guys are um, really beginning to look at sex and... Um, it's, I want to say a sex is a way to manifest and um, but it's it's not that's not what I mean what I mean is you know when we're manifesting like you have to feel good your body has to feel good right um, and you know sex does a lot of things you know pleasure does a lot of things for our bodies right um, 
you know, and, and for our chakra system. Um, so it's like when you're, when you're trying to manifest or when things are like there's, okay. So what I'm getting is there's a lot of hidden benefits of sex, right? Things that go deeper, that there's a mystery to it. And, um, what, what sex does is like, there's a mystery to it. And we have interference right above it, which is the eight of swords. And this is about like, um, sort of like a limited way of thinking, right? A limited view of what sex is or what it does for humans. Um, it's, it's a lot more deeper and spiritual um, that than many of us were sort of raised to think like that it is. And so if you're trying to manifest anything and I'm saying something beautiful, something, some, some major change, some major transformation, or maybe this is the transformation is, is some sex is coming into your life. Either it's already here um, and it's beautiful and it's magical. There's a release. Your body's able to release that way. There's feelings of bliss. There's sensuality. Um, there's pleasure that you're getting from it. Um, and it makes you feel whole. It makes you feel complete because, you know, we are spiritual beings in a physical body. And that's what I'm getting with this wholeness um, is, is really getting that like ecstasy of, of sex. And, and that is like, you know, right now I'm seeing someone being like uplifted, like being, feeling like they're like, that's what an orgasm is. So maybe you guys are having really good orgasms. This is helping your manifestations. Okay. It's like sex magic. Like I just, I just heard sex magic. There's something very magical about what it does to the physical body, um, what it does to the chakras, um, to our energy centers that helps us manifest things. Um, more fully it helps us transform um in a way that is is like unknown in a way you know and i want to say unknown with this high priestess card is that there's something mysterious there's something that's what magic is it's the unknown it's the mysterious it's the stuff that we don't really understand and so maybe we don't really understand what sex really does but there's some fire in us that it ignites there's some clearing of our chakras some like you know it's it's like maybe in the past you had a really closed off um sacral sacral chakra right and that's like a, or a blockage there um because of the um, limitations, the self, the, not, I want to say self-imposed, but the societal imposed, maybe it was a family that imposed certain views about sex. Um, so even if you were having sex, um, it was not that type of sex that would really clear up, um, the blockages in, in your, um, your chakra system, right? And to allow you to manifest more easily, more, um, to really create that change and that transformation that you are doing in your life you know it's, it's not really making you feel that wholeness maybe in the past because there's those ideas or or things so there's just a blockage there and so that's how the universe is correcting the wrongs against you it's it's in a it's through sex um and and your views on sex beginning to change um and it's making you more whole and it's and it's making you and with the number 40 i'm getting it it's it's making you it's taking you to the next level of your manifestation, you know, um, because it's like a very spiritual number. It's a very spiritual number, a very mature, it's a maturing spiritually, right? Um, of, of like creating, like sex is what creates, um, pollen, like when you think of pollination, um, that's fertility, it's creation. Um, and it's not just like of other humans or other, um, like to have a baby. It's also helping you create um, and manifest in your own life the things that you desire, right? And so this is what this is about. It's like, it's about sex, but it's about manifestation. It's about fertility. It's about creation. It's about, um, it's about all that sort of stuff, right? Because that's what it does. It has, it also helps you connect more deeply, um, to the higher realms. Um, you know, like when, when I think of, like release and bliss and an orgasm like some people use drugs to experience these feelings of ecstasy or or whatever it is but there's something about it um that is making you more whole um and so i don't know what these wrongs were against you i mean trigger warning maybe there were some wrongs against you in the area of sex 
um, you know, and, and so now there's like, oh yeah, you know, I'm getting that too, is like, there's more to, and my hand's starting to go, my left hand, so there's more to the story, um, that's, um, going on, but, you know, I feel like there's some, there's some healing around like the thought processes around sex and maybe this is something that you're working on that you're healing um and and so there's this element of of um changing our perspectives of of what sex is and what it can do for us and how it's very necessary for us to manifest because we are supposed to be having sex we are supposed to be feeling pleasure we are supposed to have release we are supposed to be experiencing bliss we are supposed to be whole and our bodies um our bodies are made and like our bodies were made to experience certain things and and there's there's more that goes on behind the scenes when we are um able to have the release the bliss the pleasure um it's it's like a it's a wholeness right and it's um also like an opening up uh like of, of or clearing up of blockages um to help us really create the the transformations the changes that we we want in our lives and so that's how the universe is correcting the wrongs against you it's making you whole um and it's through this element of sex and pleasure and release and um it's it's and it's all connected right all of this is connected it's beyond just sex you know and so how certain societies sort of view sex as something very taboo something that um you know I don't know there's a lot of shame um that that can be around it um but you know again it's 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 part of you know who we are as humans right um and it's and it's and it's really about fertility and creation and it's it's more than just having babies it's it's more um like we said manifesting and so this is how the universe is correcting the wrongs against you it's bringing in um new it's opening your mind up to to sex and and what the, and, and the magic that that can come about when you're able to engage in these pleasurable things without these limiting beliefs that are just you know having sort of blockages on your your chakra system and so it's really a blessing right um it's really a blessing uh because you know, a lot is going to be, a lot is maybe perhaps hidden to you of how this is tied into your manifestations or how strongly this is tied in to your, your manifestations, right? Because it's very, I'm getting, it's very, very strongly tied into it. Um, this sense of wholeness in your physical body, um, and it's, and it's connect and helps you connect, um, more deeply because I'm getting this with this angel angel light so this is the higher realms and, and just the chakra system it's helping you connect the release the bliss and, and all of this stuff right so I hope you guys um understood that message I'm sure that you guys did if you like this video please leave me a like subscribe to see more videos and I will see you guys soon bye okay hi group four welcome to your reading on how the universe is correcting the wrongs against you those of you who picked coherence and this unknown stone that looks like an amethyst but we're not sure exactly what it is uh, if you do know please post it in the comments um this is your reading so how is the universe correcting the wrongs against you so right in the middle it's it's this emperor in reverse so i'm getting that you know this is you know uh, a person who this is definitely a person um that I don't know, maybe this person tried to have a lot of control over your life. I'm getting maybe it's a family member here. I'm seeing, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm just associating with this 10 of cups and this family. Um, maybe it's a parent figure and you're the child, um, whatever, right? So what I'm getting is how the universe is correcting the wrongs against you. I feel like the universe is helping you make sense of this situation. And I feel like it's been a really long time coming. Um, for this to come in because we have the world here which is associated with Saturn and you know really long um, you know Saturn takes was it 28 29 years um, to move around excuse me the Sun and so it's about really tough lessons like tough lessons you know with with family um, 
Uh, so for some of you guys, that's what it is. Um, for others of you, take it how it resonates. It's an individual, maybe a father figure or a mother figure that's very controlling and demanding and has, you know, a lot of attributes that have been very difficult for you to deal with and that have really, you know, with this reading, I'm also getting a lot about throwing you off balance. We have balance here, stability, standing firm. And, you know, I'm getting that when I say the universe is correcting this wrongs against you by helping you make sense of this situation. Um, and I feel like make sense of it for the purpose of you to move on and to move past it, right? Coherence, the frequency of coherence supports our ability to harmonize, which again has to do with balance, the frequency of the heart and the frequency of the mind for an optimal ability to create the reality that we desire. So the universe is trying to help you um, really, you know, again, like it's balancing your heart and your mind. Like maybe, you know, part of you wants to leave everything behind, you know, whether it's literally leave it behind and move on from your family or to, um, leave it behind in the sense of like releasing it, right? Releasing it. You know, here we have honor your feelings. We have lighten up. Um, and so with this lighten up, it's like, you know, the universe is helping you. And when I'm getting lighten up, I'm getting like, like easing up, like let it ease up off of you, like literally releasing. That's what I'm getting with lighten up. Um, and, and lighten up with the sun as well as in, and this 10 of cups and in, into just like really just releasing it and letting it go. Um, and through this letting go, I feel like the universe is really asking you to honor your feelings first because here we have first quarter moon then we have last quarter moon so I'm, I'm getting with the first quarter moon is to really you know try and make sense of this make sense of how you're truly feeling because it's like your feelings have probably always come in, in really really fast i feel like with this eight of wands i was going to say swords for a second yeah so i feel like some of you guys are have really been stuck for a long time because i was about to say the eight of swords but with this eight of wands i'm getting that I'm getting it tied with this feelings card and it's reminding me of like automatic thoughts, automatic beliefs, like being really triggered, you know, it's to a point now that this has been happening for so long with you guys that your feelings just come flooding in and it just probably feels like a big blob of overwhelm when um, you're thinking about your feelings, but you just want to like release it and let it go. And I feel like the universe is really helping you sort through your feelings and not just your feelings. It's like so ingrained in you that your mind has like probably built um, these pathways where it's like you automatically go there with this person or this situation and it automatically just kind of brings you down. Um, and so I feel like the universe is is really assisting you to leave the past behind um and when i say that it's 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 for you to be happy for you to have a out happy outcome for you to manifest your desires you know the ability to create the reality that we desire and it's really about finding the balance between your head and your heart like your heart may be saying you know it's time to leave the past behind you know but then your mind is like triggered you know, and overwhelmed by like, you know, maybe your body's, your, your mind gets triggered, you know, it's like these thoughts automatically come in, um, you don't know, it gets all jumbled, it's incoherent, um, and so I feel like the universe is really helping you close out this chapter in your life, and I feel like also, you know, it's protecting you, I'm seeing this angel, this archangel right here, that is just like, I feel like it's just covering you, covering you or encompassing you in a way um, when you do feel off balance, when you, f when you do feel um, overwhelmed with emotion. And so, you know, this is the reading. Um, there's a lot of unknowns, you know, like the same way I didn't know what, I don't know what this is. Like, and I feel like you guys, I keep saying, I feel like, I feel like, I feel like. So your feelings are a big part of this. And, you know, maybe there's a lot of confusion around what the lesson is. Like, why was, why was my family like this? Why was this person like this? You know? Um, and then you start to go down that rabbit hole. So the universe is 
helping to correct the wrongs against you and is helping you to leave the past behind. And, you know, I feel like it was also meant... Um, I almost saw this woman. I don't know if you can see her. Uh, she's just, you know, in, in the water. But I, but I saw it as someone holding a bow and an arrow and just pointing it and shooting it. Um, and I guess, to me, that's also tying into to this. And I'm also getting this being in the desert and this cactus. So, yeah, it's definitely like family for a lot of you guys because I feel like these people have been very prickly, like a cactus. And it's been like a desert. And you feel like you've been wandering the desert for so long. And we're getting the number 40 with, with Moses. And it's just been a long, a long, long journey. And it hasn't made much sense. Um, it's been very destabilizing. We have the number four. We have the emperor number four. The number 40. These are in reverse. It's been very destabilizing. And I know that you really want to move past it. The universe is coming in to help you move past it. Um, and, and it's helping you to, you know, take this load off take this load off of you and is helping you to really understand what these feelings are what even though they can be overwhelming i feel like it's it's really helping you make sense of this all um and not just make sense of it but teaching you how to move past it and then find ooh and then i just also got standing firm standing firm and leaving the past behind and so some of you guys are maybe walking away from your family there's a lot of different messages here and i'm starting to feel like the messages are getting like i want to say cross wired like the wires are getting crossed the wires are getting crossed with this message um Yeah. Like I'm freezing right now. I, I just I just feel like a, a feeling of just being frozen. Um, and I don't mean cold frozen, but like not knowing what to do. Um, so this could be in, in the works right now. So it hasn't happened yet. Um, this hasn't happened yet. But it's happening and it's going to happen. And I feel like there's there's going to be a lot that you're going to receive in the area of standing your ground with these family members, having an opportunity to really see what your feelings are that are really triggering you. See, like, you know, check out automatic beliefs or automatic um, like reactions, beliefs, things that are so ingrained in you because this has been happening for so long. These wrongs against you have been happening for so long. Yeah. So, you know, I'm going to leave this reading at that because I feel like there's not really a lot more to say except for the fact that it's coming in quickly. Um, this leaving the past behind, it's coming in very quickly. It's been a really long journey um, through this. It's like a desert. Yeah. But it's gonna, you're, it's like you're exiting out of the desert, like see her here, um, just exiting out of the desert in this, in this motorcycle to a happy, and this, this literally says happy outcome, brilliant new ideas that lead to success, have confident in yourself, and you're being shielded, you're being shielded from this family, or particularly one individual, but it has to do with family, from, um, from more damage. You know, you're being shielded from more damage because I'm getting this cactus and being shielded from it. And so as you're being shielded from it, um, it's going to lighten this load on you and it's going to give you the space to really investigate and to dig into um, what your feelings are so you can really honor them um, because it's a process. I'm getting it's a process um, and a journey to, to leave the past behind and, and to slowly start to release these things. And then eventually you will find yourself um, with this happy, um, positive outcome, you know, and it's all going to make sense. You know, the lessons 
the understanding and it's not even the lesson as in something that you had to learn but i'm just getting saturn which, where it's just like the toughness the um the things it's like the things that you've had to persevere through um it's more of it will will make sense in due time but for now like me with the stone like i, I still don't know what it is but in due time maybe someone will come along and leave a comment and tell me what it means um and the same same goes for you that um, maybe you're being assisted or maybe someone will come in and assist you. Maybe it'll be a therapist. Maybe um, it'll be um, done in solitary. Um, or maybe it'll be a group of people that will, will come in and, and help you sort through this. So, so that's your reading. Um, I am getting very different feelings with this reading, but ultimately it is a happy outcome. So I hope you know that and I wish you guys the very best. That is your reading, group four. I hope it was helpful for you. Please leave a comment, a like, and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Bye.